What's going on guys, it's Coach White. Today we are sitting down with Amy White, Pilates coordinator here at Peak Human Performance. She's in the hot seat, so we're gonna ask her some questions so you can get to know her a little bit better. All right, you ready? All right, cool. What would you say is your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. Bananas. Bananas? Yeah. That's your favorite food? Yeah. Uh, is, it is now because of your Viome test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But honestly, like, it makes me feel so good. It's okay. the most easy food to have in your purse. You literally just, like, you can eat it anywhere. No fuss. Okay, except if you smush it. Yeah, well, I don't like smush. Okay. Uh, what would you say is your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast. Why? Just because I get to sit there by myself. No kids, typically. Um, it's dark. Just get to sit there in the quiet. Enjoy the peace? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's the same thing every day. Yeah. Egg Sammy. Every day. Yeah. Uh, so you've been away from Ohio for a while. You come back. Where's the first place you want to go eat? Hmm. I don't know why brassica just popped up in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah brassica. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. Awesome. And then, what would you say is your favorite thing to cook? To cook? I mean, I get in routines where it's just like the same thing over and over. So I just, you know, rice, Creature chicken, habit. Yeah. veggies. Yeah, rice, chicken, veggies. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't cook anything like crazy or fun. No. Okay. And what would you say is your go-to dessert? Chocolate chip cookie. All the way. Chocolate chip cookie? Yeah. Over? Anything. <laughs> Anything. Ra over raspberry chocolate ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that comes in a hot second, but. Yeah. But the black. Yeah, the black raspberry chocolate black chip. Black raspberry chocolate chip from Graders. Graders. Yeah, right. those were, that was my major pregnancy craving. Got it. All yeah. right. Okay, cool. Um, so what are you, what would you say is something that you enjoy most about coaching? I just like really helping people like see through to a goal. So I think connecting with them on a like, it's a personal thing coaching. And I like, I like that. I like connecting with people and I like being able to like take them from one thing to the next and prove them wrong that they can do something they thought they couldn't do. Um, that's fulfilling to me as a coach. Yeah. Uh, what would you say is the hardest thing about coaching? The hardest thing about coaching? Um, probably the people who you can't connect with. Or there's always going to be different personality types. Um, sometimes it's hard to make sure that you're cueing in the right way to connect with someone when you can tell they're not getting it and maybe it's you know the way you're coaching or the way you're cueing. So that can be a challenge, but just you know, redirecting and taking a step back and thinking, kind of getting creative about how you can connect with someone. Yeah. What would be your favorite type of workout? What's my favorite type of workout? Yeah. Pilates. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. What? What's my favorite? Yeah, Pilates. Okay. And what would you say is your least favorite type of workout? Cardio. <laughs> Running. <laughs> sleds. Running sleds. Anything that pushes your heart rate through the roof. Yeah, why? Just that uncomfortable, you know, it just pushes me to a like, very uncomfortable place, which I know is good for me. Yeah. But it is interesting because so when I was doing classes like Everest and getting myself pushed to the max, I felt like that was like an intense form of therapy. Uh -huh. Because in your head, you're screaming at yourself. It's like <laughs> this internal battle. And so that does take you to like an interesting place where you, you know, experience different challenges inside that you don't yeah. typically feel, yeah. you know, in a Pilates flow or something like that, but. It's just a different way of expressing, yeah, everything physically. Like for me, I, I get like an anger. So it like makes yeah. me work through some anger. <laughs> yeah, it pushes you through that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what would you say um, is the thing that you've been most interested in learning lately that you've been immersing yourself in what have what's got your mind wrapped around it? Well, right now I'm in a certification for Pilates postpartum, not just Pilates, but prenatal postpartum 
um, corrective exercise specialist. So right now I'm studying for that um, with Andrea and it's just wild the things I'm learning and I've already have prenatal postpartum certifications, but this is just like a next level. Um, learning the ways to reconnect back to yourself post baby. Um, so that's what I'm really diving into right now and creating a course around it uh, that will be ready to be sold here soon. Um, yeah, so just all the postpartum and it just connects with me because I just had recently had two babies and you know went through that whole process with myself. So yeah. yeah. What do you feel like when you kind of talk about having the babies? What was the hardest or the most eye-opening thing for you afterwards in kind of the rebound, right? Going from being in shape to being pregnant to being postpartum, you know, going through that cycle to now to a place where you feel like you feel good, your body's back in place, you're, you're working out again. You know, what was the hardest thing for you going through that process? I think just the hardest thing is the patience and how much of a process it is. So I'm just now, what, like 18 months postpartum and just now starting to feel probably like 90% back to myself. So physically you're weak. I mean, it's wild to rebuild your system because it's just completely different postpartum. And it's, you know, hard not to think, oh, I used to do this, I used to do that. So that's just, you know, physically being weak, you know, thinking about where you used to be. And then mentally is a whole nother story yeah. um, that cracks you wide open mm. having a baby. What would you say is the most rewarding thing? I mean, it's crazy because it's all reward. Like it's such a rewarding process, but it's the most challenging thing also. So. The most rewarding thing was, I mean, I even had a moment this past weekend, like where I was felt like I'm in a really good place. I feel like the girls are playing together. Like, you know, you and I are doing a good job, you know, parenting them. And it just felt like it kind of came back around to like a good place. So that was a rewarding feeling. Like I have feel the most the happiest I've been since having both the babies. Um, so that kind of proved back to me that I'm like starting to be back to myself also. Um, so, but just the patience of it all and not, I mean, you could say all day to just, you know, take time for yourself and it's like, just understand that it's a process, but when you're in it, it's, yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't want to hear what you got to say. Cause yeah. Um, so if you were to think about a client, right? walking into the facility for the first time, what is it that you would want them to know about you that they may not be able to find on the website or know from anybody else? Like what would be something that you would want them to understand about you prior to working with you? Give me an example of like who, what they're coming in for. Oh, they're just coming in, they're interested in Pilates and they're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna work with her. Like, okay, what do they need to know about you? I mean, I just would want them to know that, um, first of all, that they're in like a safe, welcoming place and second of all Pilates for me is something that helps me reconnect to myself it's the one method that has gotten me to understand my body and connect to myself in a deeper way than any other form of exercise which is why I love it so much so you know it just teaches you how to hold yourself how to carry yourself how to feel certain uh, muscles turn on how to not let your body cheat because your body cheats so often. And um, yeah, it's just been magical for my system. So I feel like, you know, the more I can let people know about that. And that's my whole purpose is trying to teach people to connect that themselves. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, what's one thing that you enjoy doing outside of training, outside of the gym that's for you? I really feel like I'm turning into a gardener. <laughs> now, and this is ridiculous, yeah. and I know that you think it's you funny, but I've been having so much fun taking care of our garden. Okay. Like, I honestly, <laughs> you know, I got my sun hat on, I'm like, yeah. I just really like watering it, and I'm loving watching it grow, and it's, but it's interesting though, because I've been trying to, those types of practices are grounding, you know, they help you like be in the moment, be present. So I've just been noticing the more I've been doing that, 
like it's just helping mentally and all those things. So that's an interesting thing that's been popping up. It's very funny for you. I know. <laughs> um, what else? What else do I love to do? I love to read. Um, I love to meditate, go to meditation classes, go do stuff for myself, be alone, mm -hmm. which is so rare. So I really try yeah. to take advantage of it. Take it in when you get it. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Anything else that you feel like you would want to share with somebody in the hot seat, coming in to get to know you, to know Peak? What do you like about training here or coaching here? I love coaching here. I love being here um, because it's such a place of growth. Like if every single person here is working on themselves, the coaches and the clients themselves, um, but everyone who work, walks through that door just wants to be better, wants to grow. And that's the type of people who I like to surround myself with. Um, you know, you don't come in here and hear negativity, feel toxicity, like it's just a good place. You walk in here and you feel elevated. Um, you just wanna level up when you're here. So awesome. that's why I love it. Got it. It's good. Yeah. And I think that's why our clients love it too. Agreed. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Awesome. There you go, guys. That's it. Amy White.